Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. And I'm with Rob Gurney from uh, Vibe, and we're here to talk about uh, a new speaker line. Now, people will be aware of Vibe as a car audio. Uh, Rob, tell us about your home theatre gear. Okay, this is a, a new line of um, what we deem our lifestyle speaker products. A um, number of pieces in the range. We have the floor standing monolith three speakers. And then we have two bookshelf or stand mount versions, which are the Monolith 1, Monolith 2. And to complete the range, we have the Omicron subwoofer. So why have you gone into the home theatre market, the home cinema market, when you're best known for car audio? Um, it's a natural progression, really. We've been uh, building sort of car speakers, amplifiers, subwoofers um, for the better part of 15 years now. Um, and obviously, we, as a company, you know, we've, uh, we've grown up. Um, and it just seemed a logical step. You know, most of us now um, within the company own houses, and we'd like speakers in our own houses, and nothing better than the ones that you design yourself. Now, these are an unusual design, so maybe you can tell us about that, because it's, it's not a normal box. No, absolutely. I mean, we um, were very deliberate that we wanted to stay clear of another square wooden box, really, which kind of everybody does, and we sort of took a, a slightly different approach. Um, these are as much about a piece of furniture as they are a hi-fi speaker. Um, we've used some sort of interesting materials and uh, manufacturing processes to achieve the look um, that we've gone with. And what kind of market are you aiming this at? Is it the audiophile or is, is it more somebody that wants good sound but has, has something that looks like a bit of furniture that's not going to annoy um, your wife? It's, um, it appeals to a number of people really. I mean, they're, um, we're built foremost as a home cinema set as opposed to a true audiophile hi-fi set of speakers. Um, and again, really appealing to the, the lifestyle market, again, because cosmetically they're so different to everything else that's out there. And in terms of uh, acoustical design, obviously having a rounded cabinet is going to help you in certain ways. Absolutely. Certainly with the, with the subwoofer, you know, it eliminates um, a lot of unwanted sound that you would get with a normal kind of square box subwoofer. Um, you know, spherical is probably the ideal shape for a subwoofer enclosure. Uh, and again, that follows through on the, on the full range speakers as well. Now, when you tuned the speakers, were you going for, for the full boombastic style of presentation or have you tried to get everything as flat as possible? Um, we've kind of gone for a, um, a more exciting sort of EQ really. Um, again, as I say, we're really pushing these towards home cinema. Um, for that reason, that a lot of um, so-called flat sounding speakers sound exactly that, flat and dull. They do everything very well, but they're not terribly exciting to listen to. Um, certainly if you've listened to any of the, uh, the car product, you know, we like music to sound exciting. That's what we've done with this range. Now, I guess there's going to be some people out there that say, well, how, how can a car speaker manufacturer possibly then turn their hand to, to home cinema? So what would you say to that? Um, it's actually a very, very easy thing to do. Um, when you're dealing with um, hi-fi, uh, domestic hi-fi, certainly, um, we're building a speaker here in where we can measure the cabinet, we can tune the port, we can alter the crossover to suit that cabinet exactly. Um, it's a much more difficult environment to do that in a car because every door panel is different, every mounting location is different. Um, so this is actually much easier than designing car speakers. So that's the idea uh, behind the speakers. Let's talk a little bit about design and uh, why not talk about the drivers to start with because they look a little bit special. Yeah, I mean, again, not, the, um, not from the norm. The, um, the woofers that we use throughout, it's a, it's a four inch unit. Um, we use a, a Kevlar cone as opposed to sort of cheaper uh, materials. It's quite an exotic cone. Kevlar is ideal because it's super lightweight and it's really stiff. Um, which, but certainly when you're talking high power speakers, what well, the last thing you want is cone breakup, adding more distortion into the system. Um, so we use a Kevlar um, cone there. You'll also notice if you actually touch one of the cones, it feels sticky. And the reason for that is we actually use a polymeric resin um, to coat the cone with, um, which improves the damping of the speaker considerably. Um, we use a butyl rubber surround. Um, it's a very, very nice little driver indeed. And uh, then moving on to the tweeter, again the tweeter is a little unusual. Um, it's a silk diaphragm tweeter um, and we also have a little aluminium uh, bullet, for want of a better way of describing it, on the front of it, um, which helps correct the phase of the tweeter and also acts as a heat sink, increasing the power handling of the tweeter itself. And what about the actual cabinets? What are they made from? Yeah, the cabinets are um, certainly fairly unique. Um, obviously to achieve the shape that we have, it would be nearly impossible to make these out of wood. Um, so we actually, these are made out of cast resin. Um, which is very, very dense, very heavy, so it makes it ideal as a speaker um, cabinet. Um, and obviously we can make any shape we want out of that. So if people want to hear these speakers, we've been talking about them for a few minutes now, so they want to go out and experience it, where can they hear them? Yeah, we have a, a network of dealers across the country, um, details of which you can find on our website, which is www.viveaudio.co.uk. Well, Rob, thank you very much for taking us through the range and thank you for your time. No worries, it's a pleasure. And uh, come back and join us again for another video here on avforums.tv.